Joining us now, presidential candidate Nikki Haley. Governor, ambassador, can't, I don't know what to call you anymore. I, I, I would think UN ambassador is low on the list. Uh, good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you. It's Nikki. Those are moments in time. <laughs> okay. All right. When you're Joe Biden and all of a sudden you lose, uh, let's see, Maureen Dowd, David Ignatius, liberal Joe, um, you're losing James Carville, David Axelrod, and uh, Van Jones, and even kind of losing Nancy Pelosi. What, what a tepid comment about the president and vice president in that interview she gave last week. Is it over for them? I think they know they're in trouble. And look, you can say that the economy's doing great, but people are struggling when they go to the grocery store, when they go to the gas station. They see it with crime on the streets. They see it with an open border. They see it with the lack of transparency in schools in which, you know, they're wanting parents to turn over their kids to the custody of teachers unions. It's a problem, and he knows it. But the reality is he's trying to just win this election so that Kamala Harris can be in office. That's who we're really running against. But it doesn't matter whether it's Joe Biden. It doesn't matter if it's Kamala Harris. We're going to wipe them out without any question. You saw that a couple of weeks ago. A Biden strategist said that the number one person they didn't want to go up against in a general election was me. And there's a reason, because they know that we'd take care of them pretty quick. You know, if, if you look at the borders, we're going to have, what, 8 million illegal immigrants in three years under Joe Biden. That's out of control. Crime, you're right, is out of control. Look at gas now, $4 a gallon and going higher. You know, we're going to be over $100 a barrel for gasoline. I can't think, and, and never mind Russia and China and, and giving billions of dollars to Iranian mullahs of ransom for hostages. I don't see a single policy that Joe is implementing that's working, and I'm trying to be objective. If he did one thing, I would tell you, I can't think of one. Well, I mean, look, Sean, I mean, he gave his entire speech to the world, the one that you wait on every year where you tell the world where America's going, and what did he talk about? Climate change. He didn't talk about the fact that China is buying up our farmland or stealing um, intellectual property or putting a spy center off our coast in Cuba. He didn't talk about a Chinese spy balloon going overhead or the fact that they've killed enough Americans with fentanyl than the Iraq, Afghanistan or Vietnam wars combined. No, he talked about climate change and he talked about China being a competitor. And, you know, I'll tell you, if you do all that, China's not a competitor. They've been preparing for war with us for years. And Joe Biden is asleep at the wheel. He doesn't get it. The American people are smarter than this. They see that he doesn't get it. And it is time for a new generational leader. Republicans have lost the last seven out of eight popular votes for president. It's time for us to change that. We should want to win the majority of Americans. I'm going to make sure we do that. And we're going to make sure that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are out of office. Could you imagine if I wanted to go to China and buy thousands and thousands of acres of farmland, ranch land, land near their military installations, the way that's happening in this country? Uh, that would never happen. They're not that stupid. Why is America allowing this to happen? The, the aggressive nature against our fighter jets in international airspace, our ships in international waterways, uh, no responsibility for COVID, spy balloons, intellectual property theft, unfair trade practices, threatening and saber-rattling Taiwan with their, you know, uh, uh, geopolitical ambitions on display almost every day. And, and Joe does nothing. He says he wants to partner with them. And this is nothing new. And frankly, we've got to look at Republicans and Democrats for this, Sean. Um, Trump did a great job of focusing on Chinese trade, but he did nothing about the farmland. He did nothing about the fentanyl. He did nothing about the stealing of intellectual properties. We have start, we've got to start showing our enemies that we're on to them, and we need to start doing things right. We need to not only stop China from buying farmland, we need to take back what they've already gotten. We need to tell universities, you either take Chinese money or you take American money, but the days of taking both are over. We need to tell China we'll end all normal trade relations until you stop killing Americans. And we need to remember that a strong military doesn't start wars, strong militaries prevent wars, and it's time that we modernize our military so that our enemies know that we're serious and that we're not going to let anything happen to, to hurt Americans. Uh, the abortion issue, you brought this up in the last debate. We do have less than a minute. But what is your message to Republicans around the country, especially if they want to win in, in swing states? I would argue it played a big role in the 2022 midterms. Your thoughts? 
Quit demonizing the issue. Humanize the issue. Bring people together on the fact that we have to save as many babies as we can and support as many moms as we can. You can't do that by lying to the American people. You have to understand you, that any law has to have a majority of the House, 60 Senate votes, and a signature of a president. We haven't had 60 Republicans in over 100 years. We might have 45 pro-life uh, senators. So let's start humanizing this issue and start bringing people together for the good of saving babies. And people have to understand it's now a state issue. It really isn't a federal issue right now. I think in that's important. In the hands of the well. people. All right, uh, Governor Nikki Haley, thank you for being with us. Appreciate it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.